When we're talking about functions, we often want to know how a function is going to behave over time. Is it going to get bigger? Is it going to get smaller? The terms we use for that are increasing and decreasing. A function is increasing when the output increases as the input increases. In other words, a graph of an increasing function goes up as the graph goes rightward. And a function decreasing, then, is when the outputs decrease as the inputs increase. In other words, the function goes down as the graph goes rightward. So for example, if we were looking at the function f of x equals negative 3x minus 1, we know this is a graph of a y-intercept of negative 1 and a slope of down 3 over 1. So it's going to be a line that looks something like this. Notice that the graph is going downwards as we go left to right. That means this function is decreasing. If I looked at comparing it to a function like log base 3 of x, we know that the logarithmic function is going to start at an asymptote at 0, come up, and then level off. But you notice all the way it goes as we're going left to right, as we go rightward, the graph is still going up. This graph is increasing. Now, graphs don't always increase or decrease. Sometimes they do neither. And a good example of that would be like h of x equals uh, 2. If I were to graph h of x equals 2, that means the graph is always equal to 2 no matter what. And you notice in this case, since it's flat, we're not going up or down at all. So we're going to say this is neither increasing or decreasing. What's interesting is functions don't always absolutely increase or absolutely decrease or absolutely neither. We can actually get a graph. I'll call this one f as well. Let's take this as f of x equals 2x squared minus 4x minus 7. This one's going to do both. And let's look at the ranges of when it does both. From a previous section of this course, we found out that the x-coordinate of the vertex of the peak of this parabola or quadratic function is equal to the opposite of b over 2a. So in this case, we think about the 2 as the a, the negative 4 as the b, and the negative 7 as the c. So the opposite of b, the opposite of negative 4 is 4 over 2 times 2. 4 over 4 equals 1. So when x is equal to 1, we're going to switch directions. In other words, this graph is a parabola where that direction switch happens when x is equal to 1, which means before x is equal to 1, the graph is decreasing. It is decreasing in interval notation, we'll say from negative infinity all the way up to the number 1. And then it switches at 1 to now be going up, going rightward. It is increasing. So it's increasing from 1 all the way up to infinity. So sometimes we'll have graphs that decrease, others that increase, some that do neither, and some that change direction partway through. And we have to kind of figure out what is that interval over which it increases or decreases.